guys, it's Julia. And for today's video, I'm going to be filming a drugstore versus high-end makeup look because these are going around a lot, so I thought it would be fun. Thank you guys so, so much for 1,000 subscribers. That is amazing, and yeah. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video just like these. Give it a thumbs up if you want more makeup videos kind of like this, comparing like drugstore and high-end. And if you want any reviews on any of these products, comment that down below. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing drugstore on this side and high-end on this side, so let's get into the video. So I'm going to start by taking this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm just going to put it underneath right here. I'm not doing any primer because I only have the Smashbox, so. I think my biggest challenge for this is to make sure I don't like put it on both sides of my face, but. Then for the high-end side, I'm going to be taking the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. Now I'm just going to blend everything out with this brush from my makeup brush set. I will say the Maybelline is a lot harder to blend out than this. I think it's because it's not as watery, but yeah. Now for my powder, I don't have a high end, so I'm just going to be putting the Maybelline to Fit Me on both sides of my face. I'm going to be using the powder brush by my makeup brush set as well. Before I go farther, I just want to say I'm using all of the my makeup brush set brushes unless I say anything otherwise, so just expect them for the whole thing, so. Now for my bronzer, I'm going to be using the Elf Healthy Glow Bronzer, and this is really beaten up because I've had it for a while, but I'm still going to use it. And I just want to say, the bronzer is really hard to pick up on my camera for some reason, so don't comment anything about it like not being there, because it is, I promise. You just can't see it. Now for my high-end side, I'm using the Do The Hula Liquid Bronzer by Benefit, because I don't have the powder and I wish I did, but I have this instead, so we're going to use it. I used to like rubbing it in like that, but I can't do that right now, so we're going to try and do this good okay now for blush i didn't know if i should use the maybelline baby skin or the palette of beauty powder but i'm gonna use the powder because my high end is powder so i feel like it would be a better comparison i'm going to be using the palette of beauty baked blush and it's in blushing for the high end side i'm going to be using the blush from the peppermint mocha uh, palette by Too Faced. i'm just using the santa baby blush right there i got way too much now for a highlight, I'm going to be using this eyeshadow from e.l.f. for the drugstore side, and I'm just using this one right here because it's like a really good highlight, so. Now I'm gonna put some on my nose, and I'll put the high end on like my cupid's bow thing, yeah. Now for my high end, I'm going to be using the high beam by Benefit. If I'm 100% honest, I prefer the e.l.f. highlight more than this, which is kind of crazy because I thought it would be really good, but it's a lot more subtle than I wanted. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the eyes. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Peppermint Mocha Palette by Too Faced for my high end. And then I'm going to use the Elf Golden Goddess Palette for the high, or not high end, this is not high end, drugstore one. So I'm going to change up the brushes and I'm going to use this Wet n Wild brush just to put this stuff into my crease. And then for my like lid, I'm going to, I'm going to use the Elf Professional eye brush. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the drugstore. Now I'm actually gonna be using the neutrals. Like, okay, on this it has some like pinky toned ones, like right there, but I'm gonna be using like these mostly because that's what I have in here. I'm gonna take this third one right here and I'm just going to go ahead and put that into my crease. Now I'm gonna slowly build up the crease so it's like really warm toned, if that makes any sense. Now to build that up even more, I'm gonna take this last color right here and I'm just gonna put that into my outer corner and kind of blend it up into my crease. And I'm actually going to go ahead and take that same color and put it underneath my lash line. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here, like the top one, with my e.l.f. brush and just put that onto my lid and my inner corner. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put that onto my brow bone. And that is all for right now for the drugstore side. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the high end with my Peppermint Mocha palette. I'm gonna start by taking the Christmas Blend shade right here and putting that into my crease. So it turns out that didn't really do much, so I'm gonna take the Peppermint Mocha one right here and put that into my crease. Now I'm going to take, I'm holding this really weird. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Coffee Chip shade right here, which is this really dark brown, and I'm going to put that onto my outer corner. I'm gonna take that same Coffee Chip, shade. <laughs> Go ahead and put that onto my under lash line like I did with the drugstore. So the sun is decided to be really weird. So I'm gonna like have pull this down a little bit. Let me look like it. There we go. Anyway, I'm now going to be taking the peppermint cream right there and put that onto my lid. Since this is matte, I'm gonna use a different shade to highlight my inner corner and brow bone. I'm going to be taking the same Christmas blend Christmas blend color right there and I'm gonna highlight my inner corner and brow 
brow bone. I'm gonna do eyeliner later. I'm gonna do brows right now, and I'm not gonna fill them in or anything like that. I'm just gonna brush through them. So for my drugstore set, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Great Lash. I'm gonna take the Benefit Brow Goof Proof Brow Pencil, and I'm just gonna use the spoolie side. I'm not gonna fill it in at all. Cause I don't have any drugstore like filling in brow things. Now I'm going to do eyeliner and I'm going to be using a liquid and a pencil because I don't have a like a liquid high end and I don't have a pencil drugstore. So for my drugstore, I'm like getting my words twisted today. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner and then for my high end, I'm gonna use the Smashbox Always Sharp Coal waterproof liner. I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera because I cannot do eyeliner on camera, so I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go take off some of this my makeup and redo it because I just got eyeliner all over my eyes. I was not brave enough to wing that. I'm sorry, but after I ruined my eye makeup on this side, I kind of had no choice but to not risk it. Anyway, I'm gonna move on to mascara. So I have two right here. So I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex and the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I'm not going to curl my lashes because I just want to see how they do by themselves. Okay, the Maybelline actually clumped up a lot more than I expected, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply the high end. Now moving on to lips, the final part, what is the sun doing? We're just gonna ignore that. So I have two lip glosses here and they're pretty similar in color. I don't even know, like I don't have that many matching stuff that's drugstore and high end. So for the drugstore, I'm using the Model Coat Lip Lacquer, and this is in the shade Social Light. And for the high end, I'm using the Smashbox Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Disco Rose. If these are super, super streaky, it's not the lip gloss's fault. I just can't like rub my lips together, so they're gonna be kind of streaky since I'm not the best applicator. So now that we're finished, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit and then get the camera focused, and we will take a look at this. Okay, so looking at this, I will put the prices in the thumbnail of what they are. Sorry if I'm like looking up. The viewfinder is right there. Anyway, so looking at my eyes, I don't really see that big of a difference. I mean, I didn't apply them perfectly accurate, but oh well. And in the eyeliner, it's actually really similar. I wasn't expecting it to be as similar as it looks right now. I'm almost sure this isn't focused, so I'm sorry, but I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this. So for my eyes, the eyeliner looks really similar. I'm like, okay. It looks a lot more similar than I thought. The left is a little bit worse than the right, but I'm not as good as putting eyeliner on my left as my right, so that's probably why. For the mascara, you can definitely see the Better Than Sex a lot more than the Maybelline, and the Maybelline is a little more clumpy, if you can see that. And overall, I like better, but they both look kind of similar. I mean, I feel like you can compare any mascara together. It doesn't really depend on the brand. For my eyebrows, they, they're the same as always. And so underneath my eye, I can see, I mean, they just, they cover up the same, except the Naked Skin was definitely a lot easier to blend and a lot, like, smoother application. For the highlight, you can see that e.l.f. one is really popping right now. And then for the high beam, it's pretty popping. So yeah, and then for my blush, they're obviously like, this one's like a really big and bad, but I'm sorry about that. For my lips, they both look pretty much the same. Um, I don't really know what else to say. This one's a little bit less vibrant, but I mean, that's just color choice. It's nothing with the actual brand. But overall, this looks pretty similar, and I'm very surprised because I thought this was gonna look completely different, but it's actually really good. So overall, the sun is coming in again, one second. Anyway, overall, this is like really similar, and I was super surprised, and I'm super happy because I usually use high-end, but now I can save it more and use some more drugstore because I know it looks a lot more similar. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to let me know in the comments and subscribe. Become a member of the family. I'm trying to... Okay, my two years is in December, so hopefully I can get to like maybe 1,100 by then. We'll see what happens. But thank you guys so much, 1,000. That's pretty awesome. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and comment down below some video requests. Yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye!